Hello, everybody. Well, this week we've been learning about our letters and what a better way to learn about our letters than the letters in our own name, right? All of our names are spelled different. And so this is a fun activity to learn how to spell our names. You're supposed to do this activity Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I'm only making this one video, but I want you to do it every single day. And I actually want you to do it next week and the following week and the following week. We don't just do this one time. Anytime I give you something that is laminated, the plastic that's on it, it's meant for you to do over and over and over by yourself. So you watch the video and then once you know how to do it, you do it all by yourself over and over all school year long, okay? So for this activity, I want you to get your Play-Doh name mat. So here's my name. I have it in your yellow folder, so go get it out. It, ha it will have your name on it. And then you need to go get your Play-Doh, so go get your Play-Doh. Parents, this is a great time to give kids a tray, either a cookie cutter tray, I mean a, a cookie sheet, or do you recognize this, the old cafeteria trays? We were given this as a donation, and so these work really great. So what I do is have the students at the table put their work onto this tray, their Play-Doh as well, and then this is the only area that they're allowed to keep their mess in. So this is really good. If you go and do an investment of $1 at the Dollar Tree of the metal cookie sheets or the plastic, any kind of plastic tray, whatever, whatever you would like to buy, then your child knows the boundaries. They know where they're allowed to put their things and they know where not to put their things. And this is also a great way of teaching them it doesn't go on the floor to make sure that they're scooped in all the way, that they're leaning over their tray, same as eating at the dining room table, right? All right, my friends, so what we're going to do is open up our Play-Doh, and you're gonna pull out your Play-Doh. You can pull out a lot, you can pull out a little, and just work it a little bit with your hands. Remember, this is really, really good. This is the first time that we're using our Play-Doh. So just squish it in both hands. We wanna make both of our hand muscles strong, right? So we're gonna work, 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 work. And then once you've worked it just like that, then I want you to put it in a, we're gonna put everything on our tray, leave everything on your tray. Then we're gonna put it right here and then we're gonna just pull off just a little bit and we're going to shape our Play-Doh. We're going to put it into each letter. So my name is Miss Wiggins. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna squish out my Play-Doh kind of like this where that it's kind of in a round worm kind of looking thing. And I have to make an M. So I'm going to put the Play-Doh just like this and kind of squish it onto the, the Play-Doh mat until it makes an M. Now I need more Play-Doh. So I'm gonna just keep getting Play-Doh and keep making them into the worms, the wiggly worms. And then I'm gonna put it down and I'm just gonna follow the letters that are on my Play-Doh mat. Now you're going to do this every day for a long time, so keep working this. This is good for your muscles, it's fun to play with Play-Doh, and we are learning the letters of our name. Remember, once you start knowing the letters, when we start learning them, like this week we've learned the letter F, uh, uppercase F and lowercase F, and it says then you will be able to know the letters of your name. So my name is Miss Wiggins, and I already have the letter M ready to go, just like that. So then you would do the S, you would keep going, or I would do the S, so you're gonna do your whole name. I'm not gonna sit here and do my whole name because it would take a very long video, and then it would probably get really boring because you wanna be able to do your name yourself, all right? So do a good job, make your little worms as you do your Play-Doh, and then put them on your letters. Now, remember, everything stays on this tray. See, I do not have any Play-Doh anywhere else. Everything stays on my tray. Now, when I'm all done doing all the letters, making my Play-Doh go all the way, all the way, all the way to making it at the end, then I'm gonna take all the Play-Doh off. And Play-Doh is really cool because all you have to do is push down on the Play-Doh just like this and it picks it right on up. You see that? Look at my M. Did you see it just picked it right off of there? And then squish it back into a ball 
and then put it back in your cup. Put the lid on tight because Play-Doh dries out and if it dries out, we have to throw it away. We can't play with this. So make sure the lid is on super tight and then make sure before you wash, uh, before you play with Play-Doh, you have to wash your hands. After you play with Play-Doh, go wash your hands, okay? Make sure never to put it in your mouth. Don't lick it. You don't, none of that. Keep it away from the dog and the cat. You don't want your pets to get sick. And don't let brother, little brother or little sister play with it either, okay? When you're all done, then you need to pick all this up and ask mom and dad, mom, dad, I'm done. Where do I put this away? Because remember, we're big kids now, and when we're all done, we clean our own mess, right? All right, I hope you have fun with this. I really enjoy doing this one, and you're gonna do this every single day. Keep working. This is going to also strengthen your hand muscles, all right? If you do not have a trade, that's okay. Just think about a rectangle on the surface that you're on the table or whatever. So then I would think about, okay, here's my rectangle and I'm just going to keep everything within that rectangle just like this. I'm not going to let it go there. I'm not going to let it go there. I'm just going to have it right in front of me and never, never, never on the floor. Okay, just keep it right in front of you. You're doing it slow and you're, you're taking your time and doing it with proud work, right? All right, my friends, have fun. We'll see you later. Bye.